Hey guys, Chrono Zero, welcome to 7, actually welcome back to 7 Days to Die because I played this game about 2 years ago and uh, I really liked that but as you know at the time I really didn't have much time to play games because of my machinima but anyways now that I've gone back to working full time I feel like I have the freedom to do what I want to do and I don't feel the pressure to uh, grow the channel as fast as I used to but anyways um, they uh, say the game has changed a lot and I've tried it for about five hours and indeed it has changed a big time the UI has changed uh, really a lot and it's a lot more uh, user friendly as well as newbie friendly as well so I think it's gonna be good I've survived really uh, nicely too so we'll name it uh, Cron Cron and uh, I want random generation and we'll start the game so this game it's uh, a lot more PB uh, concentrated because for example DayZ it's all about surviving against people as opposed to this game is really about surviving against the zombie horde so I was thinking of doing the uh, multiplayer game because Preston one of my subscribers has uh, 7 days to die server and I might just do that I might just do a uh, multiplayer server go on the server and play so that you guys could join in uh, time to time or whenever I'm on so I might do that so I might just do single player and as well as multiplayer series but yeah this is this thing is going on the main channel it's not going on the uh, let's play channel um, what am I gonna do with the let's play channel I don't know but uh, we'll find out with time anyways we are in the desert biome so the first thing that we need of course are the uh, plant fibers and I'll pick up some of these as well and I'm going to need some wood I think that's enough. Now I'm gonna have to uh, look for uh, what's gonna call it? Stones. Yes. If I could find a boulder to strike on, that would be nice. But can't find any right now. So I'll just pick up these things and uh, you know, hopefully on our way we'll find. Well, not hopefully, I mean you'll find it. So this is desert biome. As and as far as I know, desert biome doesn't really offer uh, in the ways of much in the ways of survival. So. We might have to, not we might, but we will have to find a road as fast as possible and find a temporary settlement where, uh, you know, we could spend the night and hopefully, you know, temporarily, I don't know, until I level up to a degree where I could uh, protect myself properly. So that's going to take a while, so let's just collect this stuff. Protect myself properly, uh, you know, we have to, uh, we'll have to stay there, so I'll collect some yucca. But Yuka, as far as I remember, uh, the first time that I played this, I think it was in Alpha 7, you were actually able to uh, gain hydration plus hunger, but I think it no longer gives you the hydration bonus. So that kind of sucks, but we're just going to have to manage, because uh, the thing that, I've been having, that was having difficulty in the first five hours that I tried uh, the, in the last few days, the most difficult thing was actually surviving... You know what, I should have the axe. Yep, I do. And let's go for the uh, the fiber clothing. So I'm going to make the uh, gloves, the shoes, and I want the hat as well. And I'm going to need more plant fiber. Yeah, I was having trouble basically trying to find food and stuff. And then I read up on it a little bit, and as it turns out, you could actually get some food from this thing. Uh, I think it's called, um, what the hell was it? Yuka fruit, was it? I don't know. Uh, there you go, I got two of them. So I'm gonna collect a few. Just because, like I said, I was having trouble uh, locating food, especially water. It might have been my luck, I mean, who knows. But yeah, I was. So the next thing that I need is the uh, plant fiber pants. And I'm gonna want to get some more. Get some more, baby, get some more. So a lot of stones, lots of plant fibers, and all these things will come in very handy. Actually, not just handy, but it's a must to have, obviously. Crafted, let me check my vitals right now, and the uh, core temp, it's going up. It's hot, so I'm not going to wear anything. 97, 97, so I'm good. I'm good. So I'll get some uh, yucca. Get some more aloe, because uh, we are going to have to make... You know what? I'm gonna have to smash this boulder so that I could get uh, lots and lots and lots of stones. So 
I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm just gonna shut up now, let this thing be done, and then I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, so I got lots of stones. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but uh, we'll just settle with that for now. Uh, the thing that I need next is lots of wood because I'm going to have to be making a lot of repairs if I do find that temporary shelter. I also need to make a bow, so... Uh, huh, wooden bow. What do I lack? Plant fiber, wood. Okay, I need wood. Okay, got it, got it. Alright, I'm also going to find lots and lots of feathers so hopefully because I mean the desert biome is where you want to try to find it because it's easy to uh, kind of check out the ground because uh, where there's a lot of foliage you really can't tell what the hell's on the ground unless you're like right on top of it so we're going to try to look for you know I could get wood from this I think although um, time wise it's probably best spent chopping down trees rather than these um, for now, we're in the desert biome. Uh, it's 10.33, uh, we are fine until 2200. That's when the zombies go crazy. Put a bow, make one, and arrow. As many as you can, which is three. Pitiful. I think I should have the bow, yeah. I'm gonna place that right there. I'm gonna move this all the way there. Swell, and I'm going to need the... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the wooden club as well. So craft it as well. And we'll slowly collect everything that we need. Yeah, so yeah, this game. I was... I really liked this game from the first time that I played. It's just a shame that I didn't really have much time. But, uh... I'm gonna be doing lots of less play on the channel. Um, with me having gone back to uh, working full time. Uh, sadly enough, I don't really have much time for my uh, Machinima series. Um, I'm going to be making those, and I am preparing those, but obviously it's going to take much longer. I think it's hot. Much longer than before. And so, you know, that's just something that, uh, you know, I can't help it. It just have to be, ha will have to be that way for the time being. So it's going to be lots of last plays, and like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the uh, Let's Play channel, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, I'm not able to find any... Uh, What's gonna call it? Feathers. Hmm. I mean, on yesterday play playthrough, I, I really didn't have much trouble finding it, and I need that badly. And let's take some aloe as well because we'll have to make uh, first aid bandages as well. So I think that's going to be enough for the time being. That's good. So we'll now look for the road and as well as the uh, feathers, which is. Oddly enough, nowhere to be found. Alright, we'll take some more wood because we're gonna need a lot. And I mean, a lot. Once we get to a settlement, uh, one of those homes, pre-made homes, there's definitely not going to be enough wood to fix everything. So on the first day, it's just gonna be a patch job. But uh, as long as I decide to stay there for an extended period of time, okay, the axe is going to go any minute now. I'm gonna have to make repairs, so yeah, I don't think I have an extra, no, wooden club, I'll place it right there, and we are going to make an extra, not really an extra, because this thing's about to go anyways, alright, so, more wood, hey, <laughs> and again, uh, it's a shame, but I can't find any feathers, and that is so important, I cannot stress enough. I mean, I know that you guys probably know about this game a lot better than I do. Because most of you, I know that you have a lot of experience playing this game. But, anyways, having played this game, it just seems like the bow is so crucial to survival in the beginning stage of the game. Because you really don't want to go melee combat with zombies in the beginning. I mean, your weapons are not powerful enough. And uh, on top of that, they move a lot now, you know, the they, movement, I think it definitely changed. They bob and, you know, a lot, and hitting them is just really, really, really tough. So, oh, jeez, I, I was really hoping that I could spend this time wisely. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit, okay, I'm just gonna avoid it. Oh, 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 there you go. There you go, baby. I'm just gonna avoid it for now because, uh... There's no reason for me to fight it without the uh, without enough uh, arrow. So yeah, I'm just gonna avoid it. I'm going to try to find more. What is this? 
Backhand. What do we got here? And yeah, it will come in handy. And on top of that, that thing looks really nice. The this thing. Where is it? Where is it? Mmm. Whoa, that's gonna be good. Actually, you know what? It should stay there. Uh, let me try this out. I sh really shouldn't fight it. Oh, whoa! Not on the hillside. Oh my god. I said it just now. And I made the mistake. Jesus, you dummy. Alright, nothing. Go ahead, but uh, yeah, the thing is really powerful. I'm going to enjoy using this. Alright, let me go. Uh oh. More zombies. Ah, come on. I'm just getting started. Come on, don't do this to me. I got 10 arrows, and that's the reason why I don't want to use it up, because once I get to a settlement, I need to clear up the area. And without arrows, I'm telling you, in the beginning, it's just impossible. And I know, I know that a lot of you who are experienced in the game, you're going, Oh, what are you talking about? It's easy peasy. But guess what? I only have, I don't know, maybe 10 hours in total of you know playtime in this game, so I suck ass. And... Not to mention the fact that uh, the last time that I played this, okay, so I played this like you know the f for the past few days for about uh, five hours, and uh, but before that, it was all experiences from way way back. Nice. I right, move, move, move your ass, move your ass. Nice. Continue moving. All right. Oh my god, why are there so many zombies? When I first started this game, it wasn't like this. Why are you making it difficult for me? Alright, hold on. Arrow. Craft. Nice. 45. Okay. Even that, it seems like a lot, right? Not really. You need a whole lot. A whole lot. Gonna take some more stones because I'm gonna make a lot of arrows. But uh, the thing that I need the most is uh, actually wood. And I need to find the road. It's already 1400. It's not like we have the uh, the whole day to get prepared. So this is a good thing. I'm finding a lot of uh, bird nests, and uh, that's going to definitely, definitely help. Uh, not enough wood. Look at that. Check it out. Already run out of it. Take some more from here, and uh, hopefully we get some more. And by the way, if you don't know much about this game, uh, basically you have to continue crafting. Because that, whoa, what the hell, it's the coastline. Oh man, if uh, if we had some kind of a cabin or something like that in the area, it would have been so spectacular to be able to uh, have a home there. Unless, unless, uh, that's not really a, the coastline. You know, it just hasn't rendered completely. Unless it's that, you know, could be. There you go. Now, make more arrow. Crap, baby, crap. Okay, I badly need... Okay, I'm gonna strike down a little more so that I can get the, uh, the food. Water is going to be an issue, though. I don't think I have an empty can. So, hmm. I do have one. So, do I go down there and hope that that's water? But then again, once I go down there, if I can't, if I can't find uh, a road... I will be wasting my time. Hmm. God knows what happens if I don't make it in time, you know, to uh, a temporary settlement. Another thing, uh, another thing they changed is that uh, when you move up the hill, you go slow. When you move down, you run faster, which makes sense, right? And I like that. I do like that. It makes things uh, a lot more realistic. But anyways, realism or not, Holy damn, how big is this freaking desert? Ah, Jesus. Right, let me try to get some more things. Your skill and weapon smithing is now level 4. Oh, shit. Oh, no, this is bad. It's uh, 1500, and uh, I still haven't found a road. And neither uh, water. Source. Like I said, the other one, uh, there's a good chance that it wasn't. Oh, my God, I only have 35 stone. It wasn't um, water source anyway. It just could have been that uh, the graphics, you know, has, has rendered completely. So yeah, there's so many, so much things, so many things to do in the beginning. But uh, yeah, that's enough. I, I don't really have time. I was really hoping that I could find uh, trees around. But this is good. This is good. 
Burst nuts. 13. So it looks like I'm going to have enough. Enough of the uh, arrows. In order to clear up wherever I'm going. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? We gotta make the axe first. Stone axe. Craft. There you go. Actually, I should have it, right? Level 2. Check that out. Okay, so. What do I do about this? Okay, road right here. This is nice. This is nice. Road and uh, you know what? Let's walk over there a little bit and hope that uh, we find uh, some water source. Yeah, it just hadn't rendered. It, it wasn't like that thing was uh, water source. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I thought that was like an ocean. I was like, wow, they added ocean to the game. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, before I get to the settlement, I really, really want to get enough wood because I don't want to make too much noise around where I live. So, anyways, arrow, craft, 28, feather, 33. Okay, so I, I'm still lacking in terms of the, uh, oh, that car, I can't, in terms of uh, wood, uh, I really, really need to get my hands on that. So this is not novice game, so... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's craft the, uh, ship. Everything's randomly generated, so what happens is that, you know, I would have no idea as of, you know, as to where to, uh, go in order to find the already existing places, which, I don't know, I guess would have made the uh, game easier, but I don't think it would have been fun, because, you know, there's no randomness to it, no? Okay, there's a town, and that's definitely not where I want to stay, because when you got big buildings like that, you're definitely going to have dogs, bees, and also lots of zombies, so my ass wouldn't be safe around there. Weapon spinning is now level 5. Blue, 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 nice! So this is a big, big town. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, not too close, and I'm going to mark it. And uh, this is going to be... Let's save it. And let's put this town big big I'll leave it there and uh, one of these days when I'm a lot more experienced and I'm, I've leveled up enough we'll come back and explore but for now uh, I'm not even gonna bother going there because you know what it's going to kick my ass so yes uh, that's a good place to uh, actually it's not a good place to chop down a tree look at that we already got zombies up there I'm sure there's lots of zombies in there. Now one thing that I want to do is actually go to one of these homes and, and, and check if they have pots. But if I get caught inside at my level and there are like five, six zombies, I'm done. I mean, if I have space, I could take it out with the uh, you know bow and arrow. And by the way, I'm not hunting that, uh, that rabbit because I don't want to uh, have smelly meat in my inventory. Again, if you don't know about this game, uh, basically, uh, if you carry around meat, then you are going to have a smell. And uh, you're going to get your ass uh, raped by the zombies. So that's not something that you want to do. Alright, so uh, it's a big town. I don't think I'm going to be free of the town anytime soon. Just go in there. So I'm going to go up and try to find um, another road, another town, another settlement. Hopefully we'll find it. But uh, one other thing that I'm kind of worried is that uh, I haven't found the water source yet. And in the past, finding water source was really, really easy. And uh, right now, it, uh, well, I haven't found a single water source. So again, I was having difficulty in the first playthrough. So this might, might not be a coincidence. This might be that, you know, the new game has just made it difficult for you to find water. Which is gonna suck ass because uh, on the first one, um, when I stopped playing it, I was all the way down to, oh look at that, cut. I was all the way down to 28%, which didn't leave me much time to, uh, holy crap, it's 1800, this is really, really bad. And the town is so humongous, it hasn't ended yet. Oh boy, I was hoping that the uh, the road would continue and the town will basically end at some point so that we continue walking and, and we will be able to find the town, but uh, obviously that's not happening. And if I you know, get stuck outside, what are the chances of me surviving? Very, very small. Alright, so I'm going to take some of these cottons. But you know what, it's really, really not important right now. 
<laughs> oh my god, this how big is this freaking town? Do I really want to waste time going over the hill and check it out the other side? I don't think so. I think my best luck is just going on this road, just continue on and hope that uh Oh shoot, I'm tired. I can't run. Go. Uh oh, I can't run. Why can't I run? Oh, I can't run now. All right. I'm probably thirsty too. No water source. I don't have enough wood. This is really, really bad. This is ugly. This is not a good store. And again, I'm sure those of you guys who have experience in this game, you're saying, Oh my god, idiot, what are you doing? You could do this and you could survive. You could do that and you survive. Jesus, you're so, so stupid. But you know, guess what? I'm an ass when it comes to this game, okay? I suck. Oh my god, I don't really have time to be doing this. What are you doing, dude? Just go. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go, guys. I'm just gonna have to go and hope that um, I can survive in the in the uh, wild. I'm gonna have to go as far away from here as possible. And uh, oh my god, there's so many zombies though. Because I don't even have time to get wood. So I've got two and a half hours, basically. And fortunately, the town is no more. Actually, you know what? We're we're turning, so. <sighs> It will probably continue. Jesus Christ. 1900. 1930. This is really bad. And look at that. There are lots of zombies everywhere. Okay. So uh, it leaves me little choice but to go up over this hill and hope that. And hope that. Can I get a cooking pot, please? And hope that uh, we find the settlement, you know? We found a, a, a cabin, a remote cabin, where there's no zombies, you know, even if there is, you know, small number of zombies that are manageable. And of course, you know, there's no... <laughs> and I see another zombie up there, so... Yeah, that's not a place where I want to be. This is, this is, this is bad. Oh, God. Why does it have to be... T oh, no. It's going to be dark pretty soon, that's going to run a lot. And there are so many zombies in the area. This is... Okay. So officially we have two hours left. Of course, game time two hours. And it's getting misty, foggy. It's all going down to shit. And I'm going to die. Oh, wow. Is this how, how things are going to end? Okay, even if I do find a temporary settlement, I'm going to have to fix this, so I'm going to have to get, take some wood. I'm going to need it in order to block things off in the beginning. And on top of that, I need a little bit of rest, which I'm not getting if I'm chopping down trees, dumbass. <laughs> oh, shit! 22, 25! Oh, my God, God. What am I going to do? I think the road is right there. I'm just trying to avoid the zombies. Is that is that a cabin? Is that a cabin? Oh my god, it's a cabin where it's like all burnt out. You see the thing is, as far as I know, when you see places that are burnt out, this is a place where you get a lot of zombies spawn. So even if I do have a home where I could stay, which I don't have. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is a bad place to be. You hear the zombie? That's going to be chewing through my ass if I don't get out of here quick because at 2200 they start running, they're strong, and they like to chew your ass when that happens. When it's dark... Oh no! 2100 and we still have... Haven't gone to a place where there's no zombies. Everything's burnt. This is bad because like I said... You find somewhere that's burnt, you find zombies. 2100. I have one hour. The road is forking, I think. Is it? Okay, I see a trail here. But uh, one that, you know, makes you think that, you know, you may find a cabin in the end. But everything's burnt around it. So, what's the point of going there when you know that there's going to be lots of zombies? And walking on the road now, it's probably a bad idea too. Because on the road, you find zombies. Jesus! What am I going to do, guys? What the hell am I going to do? This burnt out area? It's so tremendously big. I don't have enough things to build a house. Everything's burnt. Zombies are all around. It's almost 2200. 
Wow, this this is I mean this is the worst this is worst the, the worst things that could have happened to me. And uh, the place where I'm marked, I, I will never be able to go back there. I mean I could if I wanted to, but why would I? Are you kidding me? Where does it end? All is burnt. I mean I could have chosen any direction and I've chosen this chosen this. And now I've got a zombie on my ass and it's 2145 and that thing is going to move very very fast very quickly I'm gonna have to uh, equip the bow which I think is going to be useless because it's not gonna be able to one kill you know one shot kill it okay so I'm gonna pick a spot I'm gonna stay quiet and hope that until uh, all 400 I could stay alive that's what's going to happen undetected that's the only way that I could survive. Otherwise, I mean, I don't, I don't see how I could survive this night. Wow, this really happened. I'm not gonna make any noise. I'm just gonna shut up, and I'm just gonna try to survive. All right, I'm gonna cut the recording right here, and then hope that I could survive until twenty, uh, oh four hundred. Hope to see you guys back. Holy shit, guys! It's only twenty two hundred. 36, 2236, and that asshole deer is nearby. Wow, look how scary it is. Oh my god, this is so crazy. You got ambers all around. It's, it's You got, you know, mist everywhere, fog, and you got shit flying around you. The wind. Wow, this is like, it's almost like you're in hell. In, you're in hell. It's hell on earth. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. As long as there are no zombies around, I can survive. Because I, I ain't doing anything. I ain't doing, I'm not crafting. I ain't doing anything. It ain't happening. This is horrible. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to do anything, but I'm getting cold. So, I really don't want to make any noise, but I have no choice. My core temperature is not really going down too much. No, take it off. It's going up again. Uh, take it off. Take off your pants. It was going down. What the hell? Just the glove? It, it makes my... Whatever. Yeah, just leave it at that. I think I'm fine with that. And stay quiet. 20... Almost 2400. Another four hours to go. And I'll be alive. Wow, I really lucked out. I, I'm not even eating. I'm not drinking. I should probably do so. But I'm not. Because I don't want to do anything that's going to, you know, attract zombies. Oh, that noise. It oh, kills me. Crap. I think I hear a zombie. I could be wrong, but I just heard something moving. Please don't come. Oh my god, I only have two and a half hours to go. Please, please don't come. Please. I see a wolf. I see a wolf. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh shit, it's... Oh no, 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 no. Almost all 300. Please, please don't tell me. Please don't come. Go, go away, go away, go away, ass wipe. Okay, it's going away. Oh man, please. Oh no, 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 it's coming back. It's coming this way. Oh, it's closer, it's closer. You gotta be kidding me, man. It's all 300, it's all 300. Please, don't come this way, wolf. Okay, okay, okay. I might just luck out. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. You're going to make things complicated, aren't you? Okay, as long as it's 0400. 10 minutes more, 10 minutes more. I need to drink, I need to eat, but I'm not going to do any of those things right now. I'm just going to get away from this area where there's no wolf. Okay, let me start moving slowly to this way so that that wolf cannot hear me even if I start... Holy crap, all 400, I survived guys. I actually survived this. You have got to be kidding me, I survived this thing. But this endless burnt out forest, it's just, I mean, where does it end? Holy crap guys. All right, I need to eat. So I picked up some corn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that aside. And you got plant, where's the uh, yucca fruit? I thought I picked up yucca fruit. I don't see it. What the hell? 
Oh shoot, that sucks. I got you got plant? Alright, let me eat this. And 53, another one. I'm gonna have to eat that can of whatever I had. Drink up. 64, Jesus. This is bad, this is bad. Bone sheep, b -b 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 -b. large bone. Oh, I can't make it with this? Oh, I already made it. <laughs> okay, so uh, next, I got nothing else to eat, right? Yeah, I got no choice. I have to eat this. Eat it. Okay, get the bowl ready. And uh, I think we should be good to walk. Uh, but I'm just gonna walk. I'm not gonna run yet. That uh, that wolf, I really don't want to provoke it. <sighs> okay. We're good, we're good. When I held the R, it did something. Oh, look at that. Oh, I could choose different different types of uh, arrows. Because you, you could also make a uh, steel arrow. Alright. And... I don't have anything to cook this in, which is an issue right now. <laughs> the door. Don't need that door. Alright, uh, cinder blocks. You can't use that way back, you can pick it up. You can't anymore. Alright, now that the zombies cannot run, we could run and try to get out of here as quickly as we can because, again, uh, you don't want to be in this biome where it's burnt out. But it's not ending. It's just never ending. It's relentless. Oh, there you go. But before we go, I'm going to pick up some wood. Lots of it. So, uh, let me do this first, and I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, I just spent about three hours collecting wood. But before we move on, I'm going to make another... Actually, no. Another bow, because... It's probably going to be a lot higher at level now. And I'm going to get rid of that. And let's see, what's the result? Yep, 25. Huge difference from using the uh, the level 1 bow as opposed to this, right? So the road theoretically should be right up here. Right there, yep. Oh no, I'm seeing water source. Oh, what a godsend, what a godsend. Now I just need to find the... Uh, actually, you know what? You, I have uh, the can. So I could actually... Uh, let me get the glass jar as well. I could boil it uh, with the uh, campfire. Yep. Let's get the water. How do you do this? You go here and I don't want to drink it. Is it filled? I think we got it. I think they're all full. Okay, good. I don't want to drink it like that. No, no, no. Bad idea. Alright, I'm kind of thirsty, and we are kind of free from the zombies here, so I'm gonna make a campfire. There you go. And we are going to boil the water as quickly as we can, so that we have some water. There you go. And, uh, let's place it right there. Go there. I know we are without protection, I, I, I get that, but... What am I gonna do? Boil water. The whole thing. Cook. Alright, so I do have water. Let me drink it. Oh, that's nice. 78. And the can, yep, it's right there. Right, let's get more water. I'm gonna drink some more as well. I'll get the water. I can't pick it up. There you go. There you go. Uh, cook, one more. We got two right there. Can I stack them or... I can't stack them. Once you have water, you cannot stack them. Well, okay. Boiled water, drink it up, drink it up. We are at 100%. Awesome. Okay, get the last can, get that cooking, and then we'll be on our way. So the water situation is fixed. I just need to take care of the uh, hunger situation. Get that sorted out, and I'm kind of lucky uh, because I don't have any zombies in the area. So I'm just gonna pick up some plant fiber while I'm here. I don't want to go too far and uh, get lost. You know, 
I think you're done. Right, let's take the water. Water. Get rid of the uh, the club. Put it there. And we're good. We're good. Murky water. We can't cook it right now because we don't have any cooking pot. And is it being done? Do we have another another one going? No, we don't. We got all four. Okay, turn off. Go back. There you go. I gotta get rid of uh, not rid. I have to leave the uh, the campfire there, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't take much. So I'm gonna get a little more wood, and then we'll stack more wood. And I think the road is somewhere around here. Now it was really difficult to find a water source. So if I can't find a ca uh, a cabin nearby, which yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. There's a zombie there. I might just have to uh, build my own settlement here. I don't. I think I do. Um, like I said, it's been really tough uh, trying to find water. The first playthrough was very difficult. Um, it's proving the same on the second playthrough. So, like I said, I don't think it's a coincidence that's happening. So, even though it's going to take longer, I think I don't have any choice. I just have to make my home right here. All right. So, uh, let's clear up the path. and the first thing that we'll, we want to do is the. Uh, let's see. You go here, I think, and let's see wood, wood frame. There you go, and make me. Let's see. I'm gonna. Ha I'm gonna need a lot. So let's make about twenty for now. I will probably need a more. I know that. Probably, but that's what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna need more wood as well. A lot more. Hmm. But I need more wood. Should I just build over there? Where there's like... Well, I don't have to travel back and forth, back and forth. And... Right here as well. It's kind of flat right here. You know? It's nice. Nice and flat. There's a fucking zombie over there. Yeah, I think we're gonna build it right here. We have water source again. Difficult to find, so yeah. Alright, so uh, I have the uh, seven wood frames. And how big shall we make it? Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of flat, right? Yeah, this looks nice. Alright, we'll build that, we'll that right... Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, we'll do it right here. Right here. First one. Second one. Third. Uh... Four. How big should I make it? It's climbing up. Uh, same thing here, I think. Alright, let's put it right here. That's it. And on this side. It's not gonna be big. As long as we have a place where we could yeah, craft a lot more. Where we could uh, hide from the zombies, the bees, and the wolves at night. You know, I'm happy. I think that would be big enough. Can we put something on there? Yep, we can. And we could have everything that we need inside, I think. Can I pick this up? No, I can't. I have to destroy it. Oh man, I should have built it a little higher. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Continue. And the door is going to be right here. Oh no, oh no, I didn't want this there. Oh shoot, can I pick it up? Really, seriously. Oh, you can! <gasps> nice! Alright. And it's going to be two stories high, I, I guess? We don't need to make it any higher than that. Craft it. Still have some more wood, which is good. There you go. There. Boom. Boom. Corner. More. I'm also gonna need a f door. Yeah, baby, we're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, it's not fancy. It's not perfect, but uh, hey, something. Also, give me a door, secure wood door. Yep. Okay, so this is going to keep me covered, but of course, you know, I'm gonna have to. Uh... Right, I think a uh, zombie is nearby. 
probably have to take care of that first before we do anything. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! How did I not hear that? There's so many. Oh my god. I, I'll have to uh, dispatch them because I don't want them near my home. Oh my god, but this is so hard to fight them around the uh, this hills and whatnot. I've done it. I know it. It's not easy fighting them here. Oh no, I'm missing like crazy. Why? Why am I supposed to fight them here? This is so difficult. I have to go for the uh, body shot, I think. Because... Oh my god. Really difficult to fight them. With a bobble for them, you know? Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Get whatever it has. Boom! Get whatever it has. Right, let me just make sure that I'm not being surrounded by zombies. Come on. The lead this one is kind of strong. Oh shoot. Stop moving so much. Cooperate. Alright, alright, come on. Before that comes. Ah! Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Lady, lady. Be gentle with me. Come on, come on. Come on. Oof. Right, give me this, give me this. Oh, she dash, she dash, she dash, she dash, she dad. Okay, they're all dead now. Oh boy. Well, I, I didn't hear that coming. Right through the, uh, the door. Oh, jeez. I don't think you could eat those. Uh, what the hell is it? The sandwich. Don't need that BS. Where's my home? Okay, right, it's right there. Right. So, I don't need any more stone. I do need a lot more axe, which... Holy crap, what happened to my axe? Did I throw it out by mistake? I guess I, guess I did, huh? Stone axe. Uh, craft. I'm going to need a lot more wood. There you go. And, uh, just make... Oh, you know what? Let's mark it, just in case. Go here, map, and this is home. Save point. Home. By. Uh, pond. There you go. Now, let's go get more wood. There you go. We're gonna need the door. And let's go in and place it. Right there. Open it up. Close it. Now, let's go get some more wood. We get more wood. We make chest and uh, you know for the time being we should be fine let's go baby get the whole thing so we might just have something uh respectable not a settlement uh, i mean uh, not a cabin that's you know that looks nice it's got all the amenities but you know what i'm surviving this is a lot more than i used to do i mean way back it was more like seven minutes to die rather than seven days to die i used to get killed so easily so fast but Apparently, I'm doing this right. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm playing in the uh, default setting. Uh, I haven't changed anything. Basically, everything is at default, and I have no idea what the default is. So, uh, not that it really matters. But as long as it's not too difficult to survive, I'm down with that, you know? Oh no. Come on, I need to clear the zombie again? I don't have time like that. Where's the zombie? Alright, come on, lady. Ooh, sexy lady. Oh! What? Time for you to eat some club. Ah, right, we got it. Nothing? That's fine. Uh, get it out. Get the frame. Cause uh, we're not gonna take care of the uh, ceiling today. We'll uh, work on that tomorrow. Oh yeah, forget. I need to do this. All right, so. I could also work on the uh, the ones up there, but 
I don't want to run out of wood either. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's do this, and then let's make the chest, because uh, time is of the essence. Uh, let's get inside, and let's crouch down, just for, you know, safe measure. And the uh, chest. Secure storage chest, and I want, um, let's see, two should be enough for the time being, I think. Uh, one being, actually, you know what? One has to be separately food. All right, let's make three. I craft it, and oh yeah, I suppose I should be out there doing something. Why would I be uh, wasting my time? Here? But yeah, close it up. I should have three chests. Yep, and let's place it. Ah, uh, where should I pla place it? I need. Oh my god, I need the sleeping bag as well, but I don't have any uh, cottons. Um, I'm going to put the bed right there. So I'm gonna put the chest, place the chest here, here, and here. I think you only need two blocks for the other thing. All right, so we're gonna take care of the uh, the inventory uh, later when it's dark. For now, the thing that I need, let's see. I've got 429 wood, so that's enough for the time being. I got food. I got water. Um, let's see. I've got a few hours. What, what what should I be doing? Um, cotton, cotton, cotton. Let, let me try to find cotton. Need to have ten. I'll craft all of that. And with that, I should be able to make uh, the sleeping bag. So twenty hundred. Did I just make cloth gloves? I think I did. Oh my god, you idiot! I think I just made cloth gloves instead of making the uh, sleeping bag. Somehow I pressed press something, and that happened. Holy Jesus! Why would you do that, dude? Okay, well, too bad. I'm just gonna have to find more cotton and uh, make the sleeping bag, because I need the sleep sleeping bag if I'm if I don't want to uh, spawn in an area where. Uh, I won't be able to find uh, my home back. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just take it. Whatever. Right, let's go back home. It's almost 2200. Let's go in. Open up. We have a little more, little more time, so let's just spend the time doing this. Cause I got wood. Okay. If I stay down, I think uh, we should be fine. And now all I gotta do is uh, do some inventory and survive until the next day. So that we could continue surviving to the next day. Alright guys, so uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you uh, want to continue watching 7 Days to Die. I mean, even if you don't, I'm going to continue anyways because I like the game. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cross out.